perfect ending to an imperfect system. The final performance of the BCS era takes place in the venerable Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Number one versus number two. And our conditions are ideal. It's the Vizio BCS National Championship game. Florida State puts its dominating perfect record on the line against Destiny's Darlings, the Auburn Tigers. The Seminoles of the ACC trying to end the SEC's run of seven straight BCS championships. We're 30 minutes away from kickoff. Heisman Trophy winner Jameis Winston, as he does when his team leaves the field. His counterpart, Auburn quarterback Nick Marshall, once a defensive back at Georgia, and now he has led Auburn to the brink of another national championship. Kelvin Benjamin. Folks, when the Knolls go into the red zone, that's a six foot, six inch red zone target for Jameis Winston, the Heisman Trophy winner. Tiger running back Trey Mason. Missouri still has bruises all over its defensive players. 46 carries, 301 yards in the SEC championship game. Good evening and welcome, everybody. I'm Kirk Herbstreit, along with Brent Musburger. We certainly hope that everybody is warm and able to watch this game, throw another log on the fire. Herbie, I know you agree with me. The first four BCS games of this season have been spectacular. I think it's the best run that we've had going back to the first year back in 1998. It's been remarkable to see what you thought you might know actually not turn out to be. So we've seen <laughs> underdogs win these first four, which maybe is an omen for Auburn. Nice. Who knows? We'll find out as this game progresses. But by the way, first you got to get past the Heisman <laughs> Trophy winner. And Jameis Winston, he can join quite a list of players who have won the Heisman Trophy. Wound up with an undefeated season and captured a national title. You go back, all of them great legends in their own right. And you know, when Jameis was five years old, folks, take a look at him already preparing. And Herbie, he was watching the Knowles win a national championship at Bessemer, Alabama. Yeah, five years old, and obviously he's had such a great career. Even in the, his prep days, a number one rated high school player, best quarterback that we've seen. He's come to Florida State, he's playing baseball, he's a great player for the Seminoles baseball team hopes to be the closer this year but it's been his leadership this year that's been very unique for this Knowles team certainly did, Herbie, that night in Clemson turnover and then touch that. Yeah, the first pass that he threw to Calvin Benjamin in the red zone that you talked about, and of course, they win that night, and it leads them to be only the second freshman in all time in the history of the sport to, to win that Heisman Trophy, and now he has to deal with the, the pressure and the weight of that trophy in the championship game. Quarterbacks that have won in the BCS era, the Heisman Trophy, have gone on to be two and five in the championship game, so I'll be surprised, though. You and I have gotten to know this young man. He doesn't seem to get affected by the bright lights. I'd be surprised if he pressed tonight. And he's matched against, I don't know, the Wizard of Auburn. How else do you describe uh, Gus Melzahn and what he's done? Uh, just a few years ago, he was a high school coach. In fact, he was a high school coaching legend at Arkansas. Became a coordinator. Auburn won a national championship. One year at Arkansas State. Back he comes after the Auburn collapse. And here he is, trying to win his second national championship. It's remarkable to think he's coaching high school football back in 2005 and now he's here. After being introduced, he left that podium. He got this team to believe. They had a big comeback win against Mississippi State that got them close. But I really think it was the game at Kyle Field right here against Johnny Manziel. D. Ford comes up with two sacks late that got this team to think magical things could happen. And they did indeed. Ricardo Lewis. Down goes Georgia. Chris Davis. Down goes Alabama. Herbie, I guess my question is, after watching these play, any magic left over there in their saddlebags, or have they used hey, it all? I, those two plays, you could argue, would be a once-in-a-lifetime moment for your school and for, and for the team that you follow, and they had them in back-to-back -back games, so you never know what Gus Malzahn <laughs> may have in store tonight in this championship game. One thing's for sure, they're going to do it on new turf. Take a look at this time-lapse, folks. 75 groundskeepers here at the Rose Bowl after our Michigan State win over Stanford. This is new turf on top of the old turf. 
So it raised the field three inches. They had to raise the goalpost that far. And tonight, just like it was for our Rose Bowl, a spectacular field. And there you see the coach's trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. It'll be awarded to the winner tonight of the Vizio BCS National Championship. We'll have more with the game day gang in just a moment. This BCS pregame show is brought to you by Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. This BCS pregame show is brought to you by Taco Bell. Sometimes you gotta live mass. Yes, you do tailgate at the Rose Bowl Stadium. Fans preparing for the Vizio BCS National Championship game with their Taco Bell 12 packs. The Direct TV Mobile Studio made its way here after visiting 36 campuses this year. Over 100 different guests made their way onto the bus as it drove close to 18,000 miles this year. Now this beautiful setting and this collision between Florida State and Auburn, the first in about a quarter century, their first visit to this stadium, this all Southeast matchup in the far west. This picture perfect setting awaits. The Florida State team that has destroyed everybody in his path but has the weakest strength of schedule of any championship game team in the last 10 years, say the computers, and this Auburn team that's been dominant and had destiny on its side. Nick Saban joins us. He's won four of these championships. What is going to determine who wins this last BCS championship well, game? Chris, I want to watch and see how much pressure Auburn can put on Winston without the blitz. Hit him, not sex. Hit him. Keep hitting him legally. I'm going to count the times he hit him because that is very, very important. Well, and I think this game's going to be about cause and effect football. You know, people talk about destiny and this team, but it's all going to be about who can execute, and it's going to start, in my mind, at the quarterback position because in big games, you always worry about your quarterback pressing a little bit, not having the kind of poise that you need to execute and distribute the ball like you need to. Calm in the midst of chaos. I think that's going to be really important for both quarterbacks. You know, I agree with you. I think that Nick Marshall is going to come down to his ability to make some throws late in the game at critical junction you look at what Nick Marshall's able to do phenomenal runner he's tailor-made for this office Jeremy Pruitt Florida State's defensive coordinator you got to try to take away the run you can't get away from it totally but try to control it but what Nick Marshall is going to have to do third and long second and long he's going to have to make some critical throws in this game I think that's going to be the key in determining who wins this game if Jeremy Pruitt can make them go off schedule offensively, make them play behind the chains, and then force Nick Marshall to have to make some throws, that would determine who wins this game. Pruitt, the ex-Alabama defensive assistant, who <laughs> right out has conferred with the Crimson Tide coaches about what you might do yeah. to slow down that Auburn <laughs> offense, which is brutally basic but very, very efficient. I think it's a pro-Auburn crowd here. Devoted fans have bought up many of the tickets. Regrets if you're trapped in cold weather and couldn't get here. The Knowles fans make it almost the entire journey on I-10 west for both these campuses, more than 2,000 miles from the Rose Bowl. So, prediction time is coming up. This beautiful stage awaits. Both these teams have done their best, worked hard to get here, and we'll see who will emerge the winner. Mr. Corso has his headgear picked straight ahead. BCS pregame show is brought to you by BNY Mellon, invested in the world. The Knowles and Tigers from every angle. Game coverage on ESPN. Well, ESPN2 will host BCS title talk analysts breaking things down with guests. And ESPN News, it's the film room, the real technical stuff. Sideline sounds on ESPN Classic. Aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear. Everything Goodyear has learned, making their tires go the distance, inspires what they roll into yours. Goodyear, more driven. And from above, you see orange clouds in a blue sky. Perhaps an omen from Mother Nature and what's been a very fateful season for the Auburn Tigers. 
Vic, you're here with us throughout the evening. Not appropriate to make a pick doing what you do for a living, but characterize how you think this game will unfold quickly. Well, I think Florida State's going to score points. So I think if Auburn has a chance in this game, they're going to have to make it a shootout type of game. They're going to probably have to score 35 points in the game, be able to move the ball, control the ball, and keep the ball away from Florida State. He said coaches pressing is the reason why these offenses have gotten off to a slow start in recent championship games. We'll see which quarterback can keep his head. Who's going to win it? Man, Chris, I'll tell you, it, it was tough for me, but I think it's going to be Florida State. I really do. I think they're just too talented. They have too much depth, and they're the most dominant team we've seen all season. And defensively, I think that's going to be the key. They have a difference maker on each level, from Tim Jernigan, the defensive tackle, who's outstanding, to Christian Jones, the linebacker, who's a hybrid, to LaMarcus Joyner, number 20. Watch him. He's a big difference maker. Small in stature, but he's a guy with great instincts, and he plays all over the field and Jeremy Pruitt's defensive scheme. So I think it's going to be the Florida State Seminoles. We talked about them stopping the run. They're a great intercepting defense, and they've scored eight touchdowns as well. Mr. Corsi, you've lost your, your no, sport coach. No, listen, who knows <laughs> if I ever am going to get a chance to do this again. Never know. National champions, Florida State Seminoles, my school. <laughs> School pride takes over. We got the old letter jacket here. And an old school rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Corso says the alma mater is the team to break the streak of the SEC. Surrounded by Florida State fans. For Lee and for Nick over here. <laughs> well, we shall see. Teams have taken their cuts at the SEC throughout this BCS era, and they have gone down swinging for the final chapter in this era of college football once again belong to the dominant conference, or will the Knowles break the stranglehold and complete a 14-0 season and be talked about as one of the great teams in this BCS era? We'll be back at halftime and after the game. Enjoy. Manic Monday. The Nissan pregame rush is coming up next after these messages. But first, a look inside Nissan's Heisman House. Yo, I got dibs. Guys, while you're up, can you give me a cold drink? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, it's game time. Welcome to the Nissan pregame rush. Nissan premier partner of the Heisman Trophy and the Bowl Championship Series. Tonight, we commit the BCS to the vault of history. The number one Florida State... ...game rush. Nissan, premier partner of the Heisman Trophy and the Bowl Championship Series. Tonight, we commit the BCS to the vault of history. The number one Florida State Seminoles versus the number two Auburn Tigers. Buckle up, everybody, one more time. This for the last BCS National Championship. I can see the finish line with each line that I finish. I'm so close to my goals, I can almost pull up over the goalposts. In the final, got enough in the tank. BCS National Championship. It's undefeated Florida State against once beaten Auburn, number one, taking on number two. Gus Mel's on, leading the Tigers out of their tunnel here at the Rose Bowl as they prepare to come on to the field. Just imagine, Herbie, some of the nervous thoughts with those players right now. 
This is really what you dream about your whole life as a football player and to now be walking out of that tunnel and onto this field and this setting is about as good as it gets. A lot of folks have traveled from Alabama to watch the Auburn Tigers here tonight. Here comes the captains coming out first for Florida State. There's your Remington winner, Brian Stork, their fine center. Marcus Joyner, I believe, is coming out along with him. And then the rest of the team will come out of that tunnel. A very special treat tonight. Renegade is here. And Renegade is on the field right now with Chief Osceola up and this flaming spear that became such a great tradition back in Tallahassee. I can remember those night games on a Saturday night with Bobby Bowden as a coach and all those great players. And oh man, I'm going to tell you, what a tingle. They used to turn the lights off. They don't do that anymore <laughs> for that uh, ceremony. The team will come out now, and Renegade is going to lead them down. And of course, Auburn and Gus Mills on are waiting on the other side. Teams have been waiting 30 days, and now these precious last few seconds are probably the toughest to take this field. Bring the Tigers out. Now the Knowles file out of their locker room. And we'll watch Renegade. of the spear, Herbie. You wondered where he'd put it down <laughs> on sure this field. <laughs> <laughs> Knowles run into the end zone, of course, and salute their fans who are off to the broadcast booths left. And then both teams are going to line up for the playing of our national anthem here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem. And this year, to help celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner, the Bowl Championship Series is pleased to present a special performance of the National Anthem. To honor America, please welcome celebrated recording artist and nine-time Grammy winner, John Legend. So proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we. Watched or so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air, proof through the night that our was 
arms still there. Who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? This has been the Nissan pregame rush. Well, Herbie, we get ready now for this uh, showdown for the last BCS championship. Jameis Winston does a lot of things. Yeah, well, he's had such a marvelous year, and, and Jimbo Fisher told you and I early in the year, he just processes information so well for such a young quarterback, and it helps him in with his decision-making. Here's an ACC championship game. He moves the safety over, comes back to Nick O'Leary for a touchdown that was a crucial point in this football game. I've been so impressed with his accuracy. Another throw here to O'Leary, something that Auburn needs to be aware of when they match up their linebackers. Look where he puts the football where only O'Leary can make the play. And then the it factor. All the great quarterbacks have this it factor where you know you got to make something happen when there's nothing there here against Clemson on the road everybody's covered so instead of giving up on the play he finds a way to get into the end zone and Ellis Johnson from Auburn the defensive coordinator is going to have to come up with some ways to disrupt his timing a pregame tradition Trey Fisher Jimbo's son with the quarterback and on the other side of it with Auburn, um, talk to me about this option attack that Gus Malzahn designed. You know, in early December at the end of the college football season, Auburn was humming offensively as well, if not better than anybody. It starts with Nick Marshall. He's going to read these defensive ends from Florida State all night. If they get upfield, he's going to hand it off to Trey Mason, who had 304 games in this game. But if you get committed and concerned too much about the running game, He'll pull it out, and that's where Nick Marshall tonight, I think, has to be the difference in the game and making big plays, and this is a big part of what I think Auburn needs to be able to do. You know about the running game, but if you get so caught up in assignment football and defending the run, you better be careful. Here, the corner loses him. It's a game-tying touchdown because you lose the discipline and the assignment of defending option football against that tempo. That'll be the real challenge for Florida State, but the 30 days will help the Knowles to get him ready. There's Bobby Bowden. He's the honorary captain of the Florida State Seminoles tonight. On the other side, the great Bo Jackson, honorary captain of Auburn. John O'Neill of the Big Ten is our referee. And let's go down now for the coin toss. Hey, guys, introduce yourselves. 